So we are just a few days away from the Robo Taxi event and we have to talk about Tesla as last week we had some pretty bad data in regards to Tesla stock which caused some selling pressure to take place but ultimately towards the last trading session we had a big beautiful bullish green candle take place and you may be wondering why did we have some bullish action take place for Tesla and that was primarily due to the job data. See we had a lot of good macroeconomic data come out such as the labor markets showing that unemployment ticked downwards and we actually increased the jobs for the market for the month of September. Now I often share how the labor market is the bloodline of the economy. It's the heartbeat of the economy. And the reason I say this is because if many Americans don't have jobs, well, that bleeds into corporate earnings because if you lose your job, you're not going to go ahead and spend money on different products. And if you're not spending money on different products, well, companies are not going to have good earnings. The stock is going to fall down and then ultimately they're going to fire their employees, which, you know, ends up turning into this downward spiral of more unemployment. And that's just ultimately how you end up having a recession. But we had this good job data, which caused the market to rise. And that's why last week I shared this community post saying you need to call your friends because the market is pretty bullish. Now, real quick, if you haven't done so already, make sure to tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future uploads or any future community posts. And also, Every single person that hits the subscribe button for this video will equal an additional treat for one of my cats, Mochi, and believe me, she absolutely loves her treats. But now leaning back into Tesla, this is absolutely an event that we're gonna want to watch unfold, especially since the first time it was mentioned back in April 5th, we ended up seeing Tesla stock pretty much rise up 50% since then. Now I'm not saying that this move has been entirely based on the speculation for this event, but the point is, this is going to be a huge event that many market participants are going to be wanting to watch. And I have a feeling that it may end up being a buy the rumor, sell the news type of event. I've been saying this for a while and I'll go ahead and touch on that a bit further. But real quick, I also want to mention that when we take a look at Tesla in comparison to its constituents in the Magnificent 7, it's trading at a pretty high multiple. And then if you compare Tesla to other car companies, the delta between the multiples from Tesla and these other automakers is pretty significant. Now, what I'm trying to say is that we're ultimately paying a very high premium for Tesla. And if we get some disappointment for this event, that could lead to some selling pressure. Now, a couple of things I also want to just highlight is that yes, Tesla is trading at a very high multiple, but at least it's not compared to what we saw back in 2020 and 2021, where it was just absurdly high off the fundamentals. But that was pretty much the entire market is it was just flooded with a bunch of cash. But we're still pretty much trading at this high multiple. And on top of this event that we're going to be having unfold, we also have guess what coming up? earnings, right? We have earnings season kind of swishing by. And if we take a look at Tesla for its last earnings, we kind of see that the expectations have been kind of greater than what we actually see for Tesla. And now historically, the third quarter and the fourth quarter are very good quarters for Tesla. So fingers crossed that we get some good news. But ultimately, if we have a bad, you know, earnings along with, you know, this disappointment with this robo taxi event, that's not going to be good news for Tesla. Now, what are some things that we're looking for for this event? Now, here's one thing, right? First of all, this event was kind of delayed back. And so I think there's a bit more emphasis on having high expectations. Why was it delayed back, right? There has to be something significant. And if there's something significant missing, well, that's pretty bad. Now, what do I hope or what am I hoping to see for this event? Well, of course, you know, we're going to see this new robo taxi kind of unveil, but a lot of analysts are kind of anticipating that we actually may get the new next gen model unveiled, not like the actual production of it, but actually just plans on where we may end up seeing this actually start to get produced and, you know, start having a timeline of when it's going to be reached out to the market. And that's going to be good news if we get a cheaper model, let's say a 20 or $25,000 model or base model, that's going to be good news. So fingers crossed that we end up do getting news like that. But if we just get some very, you know, 
insignificant news, like maybe just a micro minuscule advancement in FSD, I think the market's not going to like that. And I think that's going to ultimately cause Tesla to fall down. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what we see with this event. Now, from a technical perspective, we do see that Tesla is kind of above this descending trend line that has been prominent for the last three years. And what we're looking for is another green candle closing above this and ultimately having good news from this event. But again, if we don't have good news from this event, we could very well fall back down below this descending trend line. And the next area that we're gonna to want to kind of look for is that low 230 range. So we'll keep an eye out for the price action and of course watch out for the event and then earnings next. But I also wanna to touch on something that's kind of on the scope of alternative data and perception for the company of Tesla. And that's what we recently seen with Elon Musk. Now, we have this other uh, Tesla influencer. He talks a lot about Tesla, Curious Peggy. And he made this tweet right over here stating that after what Elon did yesterday, if Democrats win this election, he is cooked. Now, of course, you know, I hate to delve into the politics of Team Red, Team Blue, whatever side you're on, right? I consider myself more of a moderate and I agree with some aspects of both sides and also disagree with both aspects of both sides, right? That's the whole idea of being a moderate, but you know, regardless of what side you are on the political spectrum, what Curious Peggy here is kind of alluding to is that we saw Elon Musk recently put this full pledge on endorsement for Trump. Now, this isn't something new. We've heard Elon Musk for the last few months kind of praise Trump or give his endorsement, but he just 100% gave an endorsement to Trump just a couple or just yesterday. And because of that, that's causing a bit of concern for a lot of the participants and investors in regards to Tesla as we know that a lot of the base for Tesla has been many individuals who lean to the left and many are saying that Elon Musk by kind of showing his political affiliations is kind of cannibalizing his audience or the fan base for EVs. Now, you know, I tend to agree to that to a certain aspect. I think the people who are investing in Tesla, they're really just looking at it from what the actual numbers are looking like. Are people buying Teslas? Are uh, the energy sides of Tesla, the business actually growing from that segment as well? And you know, they're optimistic about the uh, robotic side of Tesla. But of course you also have many individuals who may have shares in Tesla and end up kind of selling or reducing their position simply because of the political affiliation uh, that Trump or Elon has been sharing for Trump. Now, you know, I'm not someone who's really into that. Uh, I, at the end of the day, what I'm looking for is numbers and returns, both in my long-term portfolio and also my short-term trading account. You know, I'm looking for what the actual charts are saying, and I'm not going to be making decisions based on, you know, what someone political, uh, what someone's political affiliations are, but that's something that has some influence. And we know that you know, Tesla is a company that's held primarily by retail. And the reason that's important is because retail is very sentimental and that could influence the price action with Tesla. See, when you have a lot of institutional ownership in a stock, let's say, you know, it's the Black Rocks and these huge hedge funds owning a company, they're not gonna be buying or selling based on what the CEO's political affiliation are, right? They are just hungry for profits. I mean, that's the business that they're in. But when you have a company like Tesla, which has this high retail ownership, similar to Palantir, right? Retail is a bit more sentimental and that could influence things. And I think Curious Peggy is correct that uh, if we end up having, you know, the Democrats win, and again, I'm not trying to, you know, be team blue or team red, this may be bad for Tesla because we've seen that, you know, Elon Musk has been kind of getting attacked from the left side. And of course we've had Biden and uh, Kamala kind of mentioned that they want to unionize Tesla and Elon Musk does not want that at all. He says that's bad for Tesla. If the Democrats win, there may be more of an influence to kind of have Elon Musk, you know, do what they want in terms of unionizing and what other agenda they have. And again, again, not trying to pick a side here, right? But I ultimately agree what, what Curious Peggy is saying here. And uh, I think that Elon Musk probably should have never kind of revealed his cards on the table, whatever his political affiliation is. But at the end of the day, 
anyone is entitled to do whatever they want. And Elon Musk, uh, if he wants to go ahead and pledge, you know, towards the right and what Trump is, uh, you know, promoting, then that's by all means his decision. Uh, do I think it was a good business decision? Uh, decision? I always say, you know, you shouldn't talk about politics at the dinner table, but hey, it already happened. And so what we're ultimately just focused on is we'll, you know, pay attention to what ends up happening with the election. Of course, that's going to influence the markets. But at the end of the day, we're just looking at the pure numbers and the charts. If you're someone who's investing in a company, that's really all you need to be mindful of. Yes, the price action is going to swing because of the retail sentiment. But ultimately, we want to see how this event is going to unfold. Are we going to get any news that's actually noteworthy? Are we going to have a new vehicle revealed? And how are the earnings going to look? Because if the earnings are bad, well, that's not going to be a good look for Tesla. But you guys let me know in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts? And before you guys go, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Again, just a friendly reminder. And also check out this next video right over here. And I'll see you guys on that next video. Take care.